Hey guys, this is Paul George. Welcome to 2KU. In this video, we'll go over the basic and advanced shots available in NBA 2K15. Let's start with the jump shot. Move and hold the pro stick in any direction, then release. Shot release timing is crucial. So be sure to check out the shot timing tutorial for an in-depth look at how the new shot meter works. By holding the pro stick towards the rim, you will attempt the bank shot. For a step back jumper, drive lateral of the hoop and then move and hold the pro stick away from the hoop. This type of shot is excellent for creating separation. Gather moves can be useful for creating space. For a hop gather, tap the shot button while moving your player with the left stick. Move the left stick where you want the gather to take you. For a spin gather, tap the shot button twice. Gather moves can either be done while driving hard to the basket, driving laterally across the lane, or from a stand dribble. When attacking the basket, a runner or floater shot can be useful when faced with a wall of taller defenders. Drive towards the hoop and then move and hold the pro stick away from the hoop. You need to be at about mid-range distance from the basket to do this move. If you want to finish strong at the hoop with a normal layup, move and hold the pro stick toward the hoop while driving. Pushing straight toward the rim will give you the best layup available. You can manually choose which side of the basket you want to finish on by holding the pro stick to the left or right. The Eurostep layup has grown more popular in recent years. While driving, move and hold the pro stick away left or away right from the basket. The shooter takes a hard step in one direction to get the defense to shift that way. Then he quickly takes a hard step in the opposite direction. For a reverse layup, move and hold the pro stick toward the baseline. Reverse layup uses the rim and backboard as a shield from the defense. It is very effective when you have a defender on your hip. The hop step layup allows you to cover a large amount of ground prior to taking off. To do this move, hold sprint and move and hold the pro stick left or right. It's much easier to secure the ball during a hop step layup, so these are very useful for getting through a crowded lane. In NBA 2K15, stronger dunkers can force dunks whenever they have enough momentum and reasonably clear takeoff area. To attempt a dunk, hold sprint and move and hold the pro stick toward the basket. Be careful with forcing dunks because when faced with heavy traffic, it will result in your player losing the ball or failing the dunk. Everyone enjoys a highlight dunk and flashy dunk gives you just that. Hold sprint and move and hold the pro stick away from the hoop. Try using this move when you're on the breakaway with a good dunker. They'll get your fans pumped as well as your teammates. You can change your shot while in air by moving the pro stick in any direction. If the defense collapses on you late when you're near the rim, using the mid-air chain shot is a good way to avoid getting blocked. Some players are better than others at finishing these difficult circus shots. You can pump fake out of most shots by letting go of the pro stick before your shot starts and your player leaves the ground. Use this to get defenders up in the air and give you an easier shot. Coming out of pump fake, you can immediately perform the step through layup. This is a powerful move, especially in the post. Simply start a shot attempt and perform a pump fake. Then move and hold the pro stick again before pump fake ends. Hakeem Olajuwon made this move famous with the iconic dream shake. Check out the rest of the 2KU training videos to help you take your game to the next level.